Hi, welcome to this episode of Kids Create Preschool Edition. I'm Miss Allison and I'm glad you've joined me today. I've got a really fun craft for you that, like the others I've done for this series, uses some recyclable material, which is always a great thing. It is a bird feeder made out of a plastic jug. Isn't that pretty? And it's so easy. It will require a team effort. Uh, you'll need your grown-ups for uh, to help you with this, because there's some cutting involved, some sharp tools. Okay, so let them do the hard work, um, and then you get to do the fun stuff of designing your feeder and decorating it. Okay, so let me show you what all you're going to need. You're going to need a clean jug, milk jug, juice jug. Uh, make sure you wash it out with soap and water, rinse it really well, and let it dry. Don't forget, you'll need the lid. Sometimes people will throw the lid away um, before they put it in the recycling bin. You'll need uh, the lid as well, because that's what's going to secure your hanger. And you're going to need a perch for your birds. And you can use uh, several different kinds of materials. I had these little flat dowels lying around from another craft. So that's what I'm going to use. But you can use a sturdy twig that you find out in the yard. Or, and I thought this was really fun, uh, you can use a wooden spoon. Make sure your grown-up's done with it. Don't just pull it out of the drawer without permission. <laughs> but if they are finished with, it, with the wooden spoon, you can use this. You're just going to slide it through the bottom of the milk jug and your bird can perch right there. That looks like a pretty comfortable seat, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. So first things first, you're going to... Um, poke a hole or your adult will poke a hole through the lid. Uh, Grown-ups, I just used a screwdriver and it punched through very easily. Now for the first one, the complete example that I've got, I used twine. I just made a loop and let me show you. To make sure it doesn't slide back through, I tied a big knot. I did use a washer as well to make doubly sure that it wouldn't slide back through. And then when you get that all rigged up, you're going to screw the lid back onto the jug. And I also saw it done with the top part of a clothes hanger. And again, these edges get really sharp, so this is something for your grown-up to do because it requires uh, wire cutters. But when your adult uh, finishes or cuts the rest of the hanger off, just thread it through from the bottom and down like that. And then you're just going to put it back on top of the jug. And there you go. All right, see, very nice and sturdy. Now, what I would do is I would design your bird feeder first before your grown-up starts doing any cutting for you. Um, I used a circle opening on both sides of this, or a first example. I think I'm gonna do that again. Um, and I went ahead and traced it just to make sure I had the placement where I wanted it. You don't want it up here because the bird's going to have to jump down into the, the jug to get the feed. Uh, you want it down here at the bottom, okay? So they're going to um, cut the hole, the opening that you wanna use for the bird to reach through and get the feed. And then this little X, that's going to be a slot where your grown up is going to cut and poke through the perch. It needs to go on both sides. It needs to be long enough to go through the jug and have a little bit of uh, length, left, length left over on both sides for the, the bird to sit on. Now you can design uh, your the appearance of your feeder however you like. I just used flowers. I made a flower design on this first one. But I'm gonna, I think I may have some uh, fun with the second one. Since I drew a circle, I may make that like the mouth of a cat, just to be silly. <laughs> or I guess I could make it the porthole in a ship. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, maybe it could be the, the moon in the sky, because I do have some duct tape here that has stars. Uh, so there's all kinds of possibilities with how you can decorate your bird feeder. And let me tell you why I used the duct tape on this one. Uh, the slots that I made for the dowel were a little bit too wide and I was afraid that the dowel would kind of wobble back and forth. So I added the duct tape afterwards and I think it's probably just a good idea anyway because it just adds some extra stability to the bottom of the feeder. So you might want to consider um, using the duct tape just to make sure that the dowel can't slide back and forth. It's pretty secure there. 
Now, I have seen some examples where people have glued things to their feeders. I don't know that that's a really good idea because if you use little rhinestones or sparkly things, or even if you use uh, natural materials uh, like twigs to maybe make a roof, if you want to make your feeder into a house, you know, uh, birds and even squirrels and raccoons might uh, knock off those glued on items and they could swallow either the glue uh, after it's dried or they could actually swallow the glued on items like the sparklies and that would not be good for them. So I would probably just stick to either permanent marker or acrylic paint. So just, just to be careful that they can enjoy their cre uh, treats uh, with no problems, okay? So that's all you have to do is a good clean and dried um, milk jug or juice jug. You'll need the lid so that you can either make a twine loop or you can use the top of a clothes hanger. You're going to have your grown-up cut out the openings on one side and then the opposite and that way hopefully you can have two birds eating at one that can keep each other company. And then you're going to make a little slot down at the bottom and that's where your perch is going to go and you can decorate it however you like. Something bright and cheerful would be fun to look at. And then I've already got the, my seed poured in there. I've got sunflower seeds and I'm going to take it outside and I've got a little hook, a hook on one of my porch posts. Be patient because sometimes it takes a little while for birds to find a feeder that you've just put, uh, put outside. They kind of have to check it out to make sure everything's okay. So uh, don't get impatient, just give them a little while and then I bet they'll come along and you'll be able to watch them maybe through binoculars or uh, just off of your porch or out in your yard and see them enjoying a treat from a feeder that you have made for them yourself. So very cool. You're recycling and you're feeding and treating wildlife at the same time. Pretty neat if you ask me. Okay, as always, I would love to see what you come up with, so you're welcome to post pictures of your bird feeders underneath this video on the library's Facebook page. Um, we are still continuing our summer reading program through the end of this month, through the end of July. You can log your uh, reading minutes through the end of the month. Uh, by going to our website, www.faylib.org. You'll use a program called Read Squared. And you can also go to our calendar on our website and see the programs that we still have going go on, excuse me, still have going on for the next few weeks. Um, we've got more workshops like this one. We've got our story times. We have guest performers and um, presentations, all kinds of really cool online stuff. The library is open for limited hours for getting new materials, so come on by and say hello while you're there. We'd love to see you. And that's it for today. I hope that you will have fun making your bird feeder out of a plastic jug and uh, enjoy watching the birds get a treat. Okay, thanks so much for being with me, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.